In today's video, we will look at where to stay in Paris and the 12 best areas to stay in Paris for tourists. Before we go straight into the video, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Paris is divided into 20 districts, known as arrondissements, arranged in a spiral, starting at the city centre. That means that the lower the number, the more centrally located the district is. If you want to see as many interesting sites as possible, you should pick from districts 1 through 9. Alternatively, if you would rather avoid the worst of the inner city crowds, the higher number districts might be a better choice. There's still plenty to do further out. The Arc de Triomphe is the 17th arrondissement, while the Moulin Rouge borders the 18th. The 7th arrondissement is the best area to stay in Paris for a first-timer, due to its proximity to many famous tourist attractions such as Eiffel Tower and Champs de Mars. The first area to look at when it comes to where to stay in Paris is the 7th arrondissement. The 7th arrondissement is the best area to stay in Paris for first-time travellers because it is home to the famous Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is the most iconic landmark in all of France, and tourists flock to take photos in front of it. The 7th arrondissement is a very large district. If you specifically want to stay near the Eiffel Tower, you are going to need to look for accommodation in the west end of the area. Of course, Hotels in the area charge premium rates for the high demand, so this is not ideal if you are on a tight budget. Leading up to the Eiffel Tower is the Champ de Mars. This popular park is the perfect place to get some stunning souvenir photos with the Eiffel Tower as your background. If you're travelling with children, you can take advantage of a playground and puppet theatre to keep them entertained. In the centre of the 7th arrondissement, you will find the Grand Les Invalides. This estate is home to the beautiful 17th century St. Louis de Invalides Cathedral. The second area in the list of the best areas to stay in Paris is around Louvre Museum in 1st arrondissement. Being right at the start of a spiral of districts, the 1st arrondissement is one of the most centrally located areas in Paris. If you want easy access to the city's major sites and attractions, then this is a fantastic location for you. The most famous attraction in the first arrondissement is the Louvre Museum, one of the world's principal art galleries. The iconic glass pyramid is instantly recognisable by people around the globe. Just across from the Louvre, are the Tuileries Gardens. Once the grounds of a 16th century palace, the gardens now make for a beautiful location to enjoy a walk in the open air. The gardens lead to the Musée de l'Orangerie, another wonderful art gallery displaying the works of many European artists, including some by Monet. Alternatively, if you are interested in photography and videographic art, then the Dieu de Palme would be worth a visit. Immediately north of the Louvre is the Palais Royal, an opulent 17th century palace surrounded by historic shopping arcades, beautiful gardens and several grand theatres. If shopping is more to your interests, you will want to head to Le Halle, with both typical shopping streets lined with chain stores along with subterranean malls and classy boutiques. Le Hal is a must-visit for any shopaholic. The Le Hal area is also home to the imposing 16th century Gothic church, saint Eustache. If you are travelling with children and want to encourage them to get interested in art, you may want to stop at the Erg Museum. Located along the right bank of the Seine, this area boasts some beautiful river views. The first arrondissement is connected over to the left bank by several lovely bridges. The Pont des Arts, the Pont de Carousel, and the Pont Neuf 
offer a contrast of Paris's changing architectural fashions. The third area in the list of the best places to stay in Paris is Le Marais in 3rd and 4th arrondissement. Le Marais, along with the Latin Quarter and Louvre area, is the safest arrondissement to stay in Paris. Located north of the Seine, on the right bank, Marais stretches along much of the eastern side of both the 3rd and 4th arrondissements. One of the oldest regions of Paris, the streets of the Marais are lined with medieval buildings. With such a long history, the area has become home to various communities throughout the years and each has left its mark. This compact area can be explored on foot in a day or two and has a lot of different metro stations. Historically Paris's Jewish Quarter, you can still find numerous Jewish bakeries and restaurants in the area, as well as the Museum of the Art and History of Judaism. The Marais is well known for being one of Paris's primary nightlife hubs. There is also a high number of gay bars in the area. Whether you're a part of the LGBTQ community or just looking for a great night out, Le Marais is a fantastic location to consider. The third arrondissement is a paradise for those looking to stay in an area with a unique, vibrant and artsy atmosphere. Slightly more removed from the city centre, but still within walking distance of many interesting attractions and major sites, like the Louvre Museum and Notre Dame Cathedral. As a centre of Paris's art scene, you'll find plenty of curious galleries here, including the Metiers Art Museum. Converted from an old church, the museum now houses various important scientific artworks. In the east of the district is the National Museum of Picasso. This beautiful building not only boasts over 5,000 works by the iconic artist, but also his own personal art collection. Meanwhile, the 4th arrondissement is home to the Centre Pompidou. The hypermodern museum is a striking contrast to the surrounding historic architecture. If you're more interested in modern art than the classics, this might be more to your liking. The 4th arrondissement includes the Ile de la Cité, and the Ile Saint-Louis, two tiny islands in the middle of the Seine. Ile Saint-Louis is the smaller of the two and home to some lovely historic buildings. You can also enjoy dining with some of the best riverside views in the city. Ile de la Cité is the better known of the two, home of the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral. Fans of literature may want to visit the Maison de Victor Hugo. Located at the southeast corner of the Place de Vosque, the apartment where Victor Hugo once lived has been converted into a museum. The accommodations in Le Marais are beautiful. You might be able to find a good deal, but normally they are around 100 euros per night. The fourth area in the list of where to stay in Paris is Latin Quarter, 5th arrondissement. Just south of the Seine River, running along the left bank, is the 5th arrondissement. Also known as the Latin Quarter, this area is a vibrant hub of hospitality and leisure. A central location, the Latin Quarter is more laid back than other city centre districts. The Latin Quarter also has more of a local atmosphere, where you can enjoy the authentic vibe of France. The biggest attraction in the 5th arrondissement is the Pantheon. The stunning neoclassical mausoleum is the resting place of many of France's historically significant people. Home to a large portion of Paris's student population, the Latin Quarter is renowned for its hip cafes and restaurants. The leafy avenues are lined with trendy brasseries, their dining terraces spilling onto the street. It's also well known for its many bookshops. The Shakespeare and Company bookshop, located close to the left bank of the River Seine, has been running since the 50s. It's now an iconic part of the Latin Quarter community, and well worth a visit if you're in the area. If you wind up purchasing a book from them, 
you can kick back in the neighbouring square, René Viviani Park. Here you can enjoy relaxing on the grass with views across the Seine River to the Notre Dame Cathedral. It's a particularly romantic spot in the evening when the Pont au Double Bridge is illuminated. A fantastic location for an unforgettable date night. Despite being very centrally located, the Latin Quarter boasts a great selection of mid range hotel options, great for backpackers and students. If you want to stay at the heart of Paris without paying an arm and a leg, this is one of the best neighbourhoods to consider. The fifth area in the list of the best areas to stay in Paris is Saint Germain, 6th arrondissement. The 6th arrondissement is immediately west of the Latin Quarter. It's a central location within walking distance of both the Louvre Museum and Notre Dame. Even the Eiffel Tower is just one arrondissement over. One of the main attractions in the 6th arrondissement is the Luxembourg Garden. The manicured parks are the grounds of a beautiful Luxembourg palace, once a home for the French monarchy, it now acts as a government building. If you have children, you may want to visit the marionettes du Jardin de Luxembourg. The theatre puts on entertaining puppet shows every Wednesday and on weekends and public holidays. The 6th arrondissement is often referred to as Saint-Germain. This is actually referring to one of the six arrondissements administrative districts, Saint Germain le Pré, located at the north of the neighborhood, along the boulevard Saint Germain. Aside from the galleries, Saint Germain is well known for its thriving cafe culture. The area has an abundance of trendy cafes and restaurants. The sixth area in the list of the best places to stay in Paris is Champs-Élysées, 8th arrondissement. The 8th arrondissement is directly across the River Seine from the 7th. The 8th arrondissement may not be the most central location, but it still manages to be surrounded by iconic landmarks, many within walking distance. The Jardin des Tuileries touches the border of the 8th arrondissement, so the Louvre Museum is just a short walk away to the east. Meanwhile, the Eiffel Tower is just across the river. Some riverside hotels may even be able to offer Eiffel Tower views to those who can afford them. Within the 8th arrondissement itself, the most notable attraction is the Arc de Triomphe. The majestic stone arch has been a Parisian icon since it was opened to the public in 1836. It was installed to commemorate Napoleon's victories and now serves as a premier tourist attraction. The most notable of these avenues is the Champs-Élysées. Known by some as the most beautiful avenue in the world, the Champs-Élysées is a dream shopping destination for millions of travellers. At the end of the avenue de Champs-Élysées are the Champs-Élysées Gardens, leading to the Place de la Concorde public square. The gardens are home to several fountains and theatres worth visiting if you are in the area. The seventh area in the list of the best areas to stay in Paris is Opera and South Pigalle, 9th arrondissement. The 9th arrondissement is just a little further back from the city centre. Still within walking distance of the major areas, or a short trip along the metro lines, you can enjoy fewer tourists whilst still staying close to the action. The region is large enough to be home to several distinct neighbourhoods. Opera is the more high-end region of the district. Known for its theatres and concert halls, the Opera End is just a short walk from the Louvre Museum. The centrepiece of Opera is the Palais Garnier Opera House. The Italian-style opera house was built in 1875 and quickly adopted the nickname of a wedding cake due to its extravagant architecture and domed roof. South Pigalle is actually in the north of the 9th arrondissement district. This is one of the trendiest areas to eat out in Paris. 
The streets here are lined with chic bistros and gourmet restaurants. After dinner, you can head to one of the many popular bars that make the nightlife here particularly vibrant. The Boulevard de Clichy, running along the northern edge of the ninth arrondissement, is home to Paris's red light district. As you might expect of a red light district, this is a hugely popular area for exciting nightlife and the area comes to life after dark with a colourful glow of neon light. Amongst the cocktail bars and late-night entertainment venues, you can find the world-famous cabaret venue, the Moulin Rouge. The Moulin Rouge was an icon of the Parisian nightlife scene long before it was immortalised in the eponymous cult classic film. The eighth area in the list of where to stay in Paris is Canal Saint-Martin, 10th arrondissement. The lively laid-back atmosphere that the 10th arrondissement is known for is mostly centred around the Canal Saint-Martin, which runs through the east end of the district. The canal is lined either side with trendy cafes and fashionable bars to enjoy relaxing by the water. Take a visit to the Museum of Chocolate, where you can enjoy workshops and tastings, or visit Paris's first triumphal arch, the Porte Saint-Denis, built in the 1600s. Much of the district is taken up by two major train stations, Gare du Nord and Gare de l'Est. Both stations operate on domestic and international rail lines. The Ninth area in the list of the best areas to stay in Paris is Bastille, République and Nation, in 11th arrondissement. The 11th arrondissement is located just a short ways east of the city centre. It's just far out enough to be less of a tourist trap. Rather, it is a fashionable area, popular with Parisians looking for plentiful shopping, good food and a fun night out. The area is known for its lively nightlife. The area around Rue Oberkampf is particularly full of hip bars and exciting clubs. It's one of the most popular areas in Paris to go for an unforgettable night of partying. The rest of the district is known for its various boutiques and high-end restaurants. It has a chic vibe that fits with the fashionable aesthetic Paris is known for. At the south of the 11th arrondissement is the Bastille region. Like the rest of the 11th arrondissement, there are a lot of popular shopping streets here. The Rue de Ligre, in particular, is known for its food and antique markets. At the Place de la Bastille, you can visit the site of a notorious prison. One of the major events of the French Revolution involves storming the Bastille prison and its subsequent dismantling. A monument known as the July Column now stands in its place. Place de la Nation is another significant location from the French Revolution. On the opposite side of the 11th arrondissement is the Place de la République, a public square with statues and a central monument representing the values of the French Republic. The 10th area in the list of the best areas to stay in Paris is Montparnasse, 14th arrondissement. The 14th arrondissement is to the south of the city centre. Largely centred around the local universities, this is a primarily student and residential area. If you're looking for a location not too far from the city centre, but with fewer tourists, this may be a good location to consider. The main attraction in the 14th arrondissement is the Paris Catacombs. One of the most popular attractions in Paris, the catacombs are home to the remains of over 6 million people, most of which were transferred from overfilled cemeteries from around Paris. Montparnasse Cemetery is just a short walk away from the catacombs. You can also find the Paris Observatory. Founded in the 1600s, they sometimes host events and open days. The 11th area in the list of the best places to stay in Paris is Montmartre, 
18th arrondissement. To the north of Paris, the 18th arrondissement is further removed from the city centre than many of the districts on this list. The history and artistic heritage of the 18th arrondissement lend it a reputation as one of the most romantic neighbourhoods in Paris. The Place du Tartre is one of the most well-known avenues to visit here. The charming cobbled street is lined with cosy cafes. You can relax on the street-side dining terraces and enjoy the street performers and buskers, or get a unique souvenir from one of the many artists and caricaturists. Most of the attractions in this area are centred around the Montmartre Hill. Aside from being full of charming streets and stunning buildings, the top of Montmartre also offers some wonderful views across Paris. The main landmark of the Montmartre area is the Sacre Coeur Basilica. Boasting beautiful mosaics and stained glass windows, it is a fitting testament to the artistic history and heritage of the area. The south end of the district borders Pigalle and the red light district along the Boulevard de Clichy. This makes this another great place to consider if nightlife is a primary concern. The twelfth area in the list of where to stay in Paris is Belleville. 20th arrondissement. The 20th arrondissement is located in the east end of Paris. Once a heavily industrial area, it is now a trendy, artsy community with a distinctly urban edge. Particularly popular with the Parisian youth, the area is known for its trendy but cheap eateries and contemporary art scene. If you want to escape the urban vibe and get some fresh air, head to Belleville Park. The leafy green space boasts playgrounds, a museum and an open-air theatre. This area is also home to Paris's Chinese Quarter. If you are looking to try some cheap yet good quality Chinese food, then this is the area to visit. Although not really within walking distance of the main tourist areas, there are several metro stations within the 20th arrondissement, so you will still have no trouble exploring Paris from here. The most famous attraction in the 20th arrondissement is the Père Lachaise Cemetery. Paris's first garden cemetery and the most visited necropolis in the world, the Père Lachaise Cemetery is one of the top attractions in Paris, welcoming over 3.5 million visitors a year. Now you have it. Where to stay in Paris? and the 12 best areas to stay in Paris. Overall, the 7th arrondissement is the best area to stay in Paris for first-time travellers due to its prime location, home to the famous Eiffel Tower. If you stay here, you will be located in the middle of everything, within walking distance to Paris's top tourist attractions, restaurants, bars and shops. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.